But I wanted to start things out today with a look at probably the biggest news from the last 48 hours. That, of course, being the Oakland Raiders signing Jordy Nelson to a two-year deal worth a reported $15 million. They also cut ties with Michael Crabtree, who could be bound for Baltimore as of this recording. I don't have any news on that, but that seems the likely destination. But our question here, what does Nelson have for fantasy purposes? What is his value as the starter opposite Amari Cooper here in Oakland? And let's be clear, Nelson has been one of the best fantasy options over a better part of the last decade, really. Over the last seven years, four wide receiver one seasons, Three seasons inside the top five, top five fantasy finishes for this guy. Thousand yards in four years, double digit touchdowns in three years. That's elite level production. But of course, last year, things weren't quite that good. In fact, 482 receiving yards, six touchdowns, 53 catches. Now, to be fair, he did a lot of that without Aaron Rodgers, but he didn't seem like the same player. And it didn't really hurt Devontae Adams as much as it hurt Nelson. So the question is, is this a sign of things to come? Now, going to to Oakland, he's paired up with Derek Carr, who's also coming off a somewhat disappointing 2017 season. He's going to be the number two option. But what does that really mean? And one thing we have observed with Oakland is, you know, Crabtree was pretty effective there. And the big reason why he was a fantasy producer is his use in the red zone. You know, over the last three seasons... Crabtree averaged 17.3 end zone targets per year. That's over one per game. That's a monster number. But of course, Jordy Nelson was also pretty darn good in this area as well. In 2014, he had 19 end zone targets. In 2016, he had 20 end zone targets. Of course, 2015 was the year he missed due to injury. So at least the red zone presence there gives him a little bit of fantasy appeal. He's not going to be the player in his age 33 season that he was four or five, six years ago, of course. But can he be a fantasy asset? Yes, he he certainly can. Now, I'm not going to go overboard here, but if you look at Nelson, he can certainly potentially return wide receiver receiver three value for us here in 2018. 